Yo guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can use the new custom texture feature for Modern Warfare 3 that was added to my tool yesterday. And I did do a little tutorial in a tool but I thought it would probably be best to actually uh, do an actual video tutorial on how to use this just so some of you don't get confused on how it works and that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Xbox 360 games, Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3. So this only works for Modern Warfare 3 so far. Uh, this was kind of like a last minute thing that I added to this update. Um, but yeah, if some of you don't know, we update this tool every two weeks with new games. Well, sometimes it's new games. Um, it's mostly more features for the games that are already a part of the tool. Um, so I will probably say that this feature will probably be on Modern Warfare 2 next update and maybe Black Ops 2. Um, I'm not too sure at the minute because there is a few things that I am working on for next update as well. But yeah, so if that does come out for another game, um, it will basically work the exact same as what I'm showing in this video. Once you're on Modern Warfare 3 and you're in the non-host modifications, you're going to see this new tab here called Texture Editing. So if we go into that, now the way this works is it will inject a custom DDS image and you can make DDS images by using Photoshop or something like paint.net I think but I use a certain website to do that instead because I don't have them. So yeah it's up to you what you want to use but we're going to be using that website. Once you have this all done uh, you can basically download any image you want from Google. Um, so I've downloaded this cannabis kind of picture here, which I'm going to be sending to the game. So once you've done that, uh, you just want to go to this website here. And once you're on this, you just want to drop that image into here. And then what you want to do is you want to go to File and Export As and then more and then DDS now I've noticed with this um, I would probably say don't go over 300 width for height and try and stick to like uh, yeah below 300 because I've noticed um, some images it will look stretched on the game so say if you put it as like uh, your weapon it might not look right it might look uh, too stretched or you might find that the texture is a bit weird. Um, so what we're going to do for this, we're going to set this to 246. And then we're going to set this one to 246 as well. And then, yeah, once you're pretty much done with that, you just press save. And then we drag that new image, image to the uh, desktop. And now as you can see, this is now a DDS file. So now, once you've done that, you can pretty much launch Modern Warfare 3. And I'll put the tool over here. And we're going to go with the Riot Shield. And for this, I'm going to change my FOV as well. Uh, put it to about 97. Okay, so yeah, now that you've got your own image, you can now press Browse Image. And then you just want to locate the new picture that you've made. So this is ours. And if we press Open, you'll get this message saying your custom image has been selected. So now, this is for the fun part. So now you get to pick what you want the texture to be on. So you can put it on weapons, bullet impact, gloves, sleeves, or your body. So the body will only show if you if you put yourself in like third person, but everything else is first person. Uh, so for this, we're going to do weapons, and we're going to do, let's say, the sleeves. 
And then all you pretty much do is just press set texture. And boom. You've now got a cannabis riot shield. Obviously you can't really see the sleeves on this uh on this character, but yeah, uh they are weed as well. Uh let's say let's change that. Uh, so we do CG gun underscore X. Uh, let's put that to 10. And there you go, you can kind of see it. And then say you want to change your body color. Uh, we can set that to body and we can give ourselves weapon textures as well. So if we press that again, as you can see, Everyone's clothes changes and weapons as well. For some reason, I still need to look into the ghillie outfit because it doesn't um, it doesn't do the leaves. But everything else, it um, it goes on to like uh, this guy. But um, yeah, like I said, it's, it is pretty cool to mess around with. Um, I guess it's I guess it would be pretty cool to uh, do trick shots and stuff with as well. Um, sensitivity too high but um yeah this is uh this is the showcase of it i hope um hope you guys enjoy this new feature and like i said hopefully it'll be coming to more games next update oh and another thing uh, you can also press this button to download a texture folder um i have done i think about six dds images if you wanted to use them um, but yeah, if, if any of you guys make any cool camos with this, uh, be sure to drop them in the server and I, I can always add them to the uh, the texture folder for next update. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the new update and I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.